Hey friends, you guys are joining me today at my Halloween mug wall. As you can see, all the mugs are Halloween. So this is my next step in kind of prepping and preparing for the holidays. Um, I have to take all these mugs down and you guys know I'm a huge mug collector. So I'm gonna take all these down and I'm gonna switch them. I thought I was gonna switch them with Thanksgiving mugs, but I'm realizing I don't have a lot. So what I think I'm gonna do is just go straight to Christmas. I know that sounds crazy. Um, I'm gonna start here by transitioning my home, you know, but honestly, I'm not putting up a tree till like the day before Thanksgiving or the day after. I think, I don't know, maybe I'll do it a little bit earlier this year. I'm not sure yet. I haven't really decided anything, decided on anything right this minute. I'll probably change my mind once I see everyone um, kind of decorating their home. I'll be inspired to decorate mine. Um, but right now, I'm loving the fall vibes, so I'm gonna leave it fall, but I am gonna prep this specific area of my mug rack with all Christmas mugs. So yeah, it should be fun. So let's jump into this video. These are all the mugs, you guys. All the Halloween mugs. As you can see, I have like a lot more Halloween-ish mugs as opposed to Christmas mugs. But you know something? It's okay. It leaves me some room to grow. So I'm excited about growing my collection. <music> Okay, you guys, so this is my full collection right now. As you can see, I have a lot of space to grow. It's nowhere near as full as my Halloween collection. But I have two pegs up here. 
this row is pretty much full. I think I have, no, that's actually it. So it's four per peg. So I have one here. Um, and then this one is full, but then I have these two rows down here, which is going to be really nice once I add to my collection. I didn't realize I didn't really have a lot of redone. I only had like the elf one, Merry and Bright, Happy Holidays. This is actually a redone one too. The Santa one is all I have. And honestly, the sweetheart one I brought up by mistake. It's actually a Valentine one, but I was like, you know what? It's fine. We'll leave it. We'll leave it because it's red and it kind of blends with everything. I'm thinking of trimming it with either garland or just taking some fairy lights and wrapping it around the roses because I really do love having the roses here because of the sign. And it's like my little Disney corner in my dining room. And it features one of my favorites, you know. You know I like my Disney splashes throughout my house. So features one of my favorite Disney films. So I think I'm gonna leave the roses, but then I'm gonna get some fairy twinkle lights. And what I'll do is I'll up, update you guys and show you guys it finish. Maybe if I add a few more mugs to the collection, I will show you guys that. But yeah, this is how it looks right now. And I thought we would wrap up this vlog. I know it was super quick with a quick um, little haul, Christmas haul. Uh, just so you guys know, most of the stuff I got from either Hobby Lobby or Target um, dollar spot and normally I don't shop this early for Christmas decorations but I feel like with Target dollar spot when you see something you have to snatch it up because it'll be gone in no time so I picked up this banner this gingerbread banner I'm hoping it fits um across my fireplace because I have a really um cute idea for the fireplace where I will want to layer my garland where like one is long one is middle mid length and one is kind of like shorter so i'm hoping this works um i think it's really cute target dollar spot you guys better hit them up early you guys because i don't know it's either hit or miss for me at least in my area um and then i also picked up some decor for my hot cocoa station because i love doing a um a hot cocoa a bar instead of a coffee bar for Christmas so well not instead I still drink coffee but I like to add like hot cocoa packets and marshmallows and things like that to my hot to my coffee bar so that is more of like a hot cocoa bar and this cute little three stack thing says hot cocoa served here sit sit enjoy just thought it was really cute and really just a nice touch um and then the next thing I got was from Hobby Lobby it's this adorable set of Ray Dunn Christmas mugs. I love Ray Dunn. You guys obviously know that by now, but um, I don't have any wine glasses from her collection. So super excited to be using these this season. And they just say Mr. Claus and Mrs. Claus. And I think that's perfect for me, for me and my hubby. So this, I'll be using this season and I love it. And then the last thing I picked up from Hobby Lobby was actually the first mug of the season that I picked up, which was, the Grinch one. Absolutely love him. Um, he is naughty on one side and nice on the next side. And honestly, you guys, he's just the cutest thing ever. I'm trying to like get him to focus for you guys. So that's the nice. And then that is the naughty. And it also says nice and naughty scribbled. Well, not scribbled, but script, scripted on the inside of the glass and of the mug. So I thought you guys would enjoy that little haul. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little vlog. Um, I'm going to start wrapping up all my mugs. I do keep my seasonal mugs, um, in a big, uh, bin that I got from Home Depot and I just switch them out seasonally. I keep them in my basement in case you guys are wondering like, where the heck does she keep all these mugs? I do switch them out, um, seasonally and I use, um, a big bin from Home Depot. I just tissue wrap them up like so. And then I put them in the bin and then, you know, every year I just switch them out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this short vlog. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you later. Bye.